That's a scoop on Dr. Jabba. Can he make decent ice cream floats? I've heard they make a float with super triple decker Neapolitan ice cream with sprinkles. And it all floats. I've heard Dr. Jabba makes a strawberry and banana power milkshake with a ketchup swirl. Now that's a specialty. Huh? <laughs> this is terrible. What a lineup. We can always go to good old Mr. Hyde's. There's no lineup at his place, and he always gives me great old comic books. I'd rather wait an hour in line than eat one of Mr. Hyde's plain old vanilla floats. Mona, Charlie, Lily, I knew I could count on your loyalty. Not like all those other Fairweather customers abandoning me for some Dr. Java and his fancy ice creams. Um, yeah. Well, there's nothing like one of Mr. Hyde's vanilla floats. Right, Charlie? Um, no, nothing like it. We should have waited in line at Dr. Java's. These ice cream floats don't even float. My perfect coffee. Mona, my favorite and most loyal customer, I have another little fun Cripsula comic for you. I found the comic among my ex-brother's belongings. You have a brother? An ex-brother? A long time ago, we used to operate an ice cream parlor together. Sure, he was great at scooping ice cream. And sure, he knew how to make a decent cup of coffee, but he had no table-side manner. No patience with the customers. It's too hot. Of course it's hot! It's coffee! It's supposed to be hot! I told him to be nicer to the customers. Then he told me my ice cream floats were boring and that the coffee I made was bitter. We had a big fight, and Marvin got so mad he took off. I haven't seen him in years. We should have gone to Dr. Java's. But we don't want good old Mr. Hyde to go out of business. If only my brother was still with me to help wage war against this Dr. Java. But Dr. Java will never steal all my customers, will he, kids? No, Mr. No, Hyde. No, Mr. Hyde. Um, no, Mr. Hyde. You know how long I waited in line for that coffee. You might as well enjoy it. Hi, Mrs. Bryerson. Oh, hello, hello. Jimmy. Wow. I've never seen Blitzy so vicious. Let's go see where this Dr. Java makes his ice cream. We won't buy any, we'll just look. <laughs> With this high octane latte tococino, there will be no stopping me. No one will be able to resist its high energy yumminess, and I will take over the world of coffee retail. <laughs> he looks like a mad scientist. Ah, perfect. <laughs> I saw someone back there. Where's Fang? But I don't get it. Blitzy's a dog, and Dr. Java is a human. So how can they have the same transforming condition? To my brother Marvin, with love. Mr. Hyde and Dr. Java? Wow, look at this, Fang. They're brothers. It's Dr. Java and Mr. Hyde, all right. Wow, Mr. Hyde doesn't even know it's his own brother who's stealing all his customers. Now, 1x plus 1x always equals 2x. 
Or so I thought. <laughs> Until I dated Mr. Wrong. Until we went to this fancy Italian restaurant. <laughs> but who would have known he was wearing a toupee? <laughs> and actually hated Italian food. Oh, he used his fingers to eat the scallopini. <laughs> What's with Miss Gatto? That super strong Dr. Java Coffee is turning her into a jittery hyper freak. Mona, I will thank you not to interrupt me when I'm lecturing the math class on my ex-boyfriends. My vampire senses are telling me that something dastardly is percolating at Dr. Java's. And my guess is a Sumatran Mocha hyper freak's blend. I think Zapman, Princess Giant, and Mona the Vampire better pay this Dr. Java a little visit. After we finish our homework. Ooh! You are dragging your dirty shoes over the floor I just mopped. I work long hours cleaning up after the likes of you. Scrub, wax, wax, scrub. No running in the hall! Are you looking for detentions? Ah! We're trapped! As principal, I can give detentions to anyone, anytime! Wax, scrub, wax, wax. This way! Good night, Bob. You too, Principal Shabley. Costume and meet me and Lily at Dr. Java's. I think this whole town is about to be hyper freakified. Princess Giant, this is Hyper Freak City. All the adult hyper freaks are starting to surround us. Let's go. Down here. This is what's transforming all the adults in town into jittery hyper freaks. Someone's coming. Ah, another excellent day of business thanks to you, my super percolator. No one can resist your rich aroma and full-bodied flavor and overwhelming power. Soon, everyone in the world will be a jittery hyper-freak, and I will be king of the universe! Huh? I smell spies! Is that man too late to save his fellow Cape Crusaders? Charlie, hide! Ah. Down here! I smell something and I know it ain't coffee! Super percolator. No! Don't touch it! No! Let's see! Get over here! My plans are ruined. My super percolator would have marked a new beginning for the world of coffee retail. I've lost my chance. No, you haven't. 
I have the perfect partnership opportunity for you. Marvin, is that you? You're Dr. Java. Arnold! My brother Arnold! It's so good to see you. You haven't changed a bit. I have a feeling things are going to be much better around here now. Dr. Java's and Mr. Hyde's Ice Cream Cafe. Wow, this is the best ice cream float I've ever tried. My brother Marvin always had a knack for making fancy ice cream dishes. And thanks to you kids, we're back together again after all that time. Between his ice creams and my coffee making, we're undefeatable. <laughs> At least the ice cream's great. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> oh no! The ogre wants to destroy the treaty! Quick, your sonic disruptor! To be continued? But Biff Boffo must deliver the peace treaty before war breaks out! The entire universe is at stake! Oh no! Someone stole my money and replaced it with these IOUs! Oh wait, that was me. I guess Biff will just have to wait. You're mine, Biff Buffo. Mom! War is imminent. Need money. Quick! War? Is that all? I was afraid it might be locusts or space invaders. You don't understand. I need to get the next issue of Biff Buffo and... Mona, I've already given you advances on your allowance for the next three months. Remember the fake blood and the musical yo-yo? But there's this ogre with fangs. You'll just have to learn to manage your money. <laughs> yes, but Biff Boffo doesn't run this household, does he? Mona? Never underestimate the untapped resources of old coat pockets. You've got Biff Buffalo fever too, huh? My parents won't let me have the next issue until Monday. Rats! I'm a dollar short, not counting the peso. On to plan B. We'll have enough if we return these bottles of pop, but we have to empty them first. We'll be late for school if we don't hurry. <laughs> hey, your desk is wobbly. Here, stick this library book under a leg. Oliver Twist, how'd you like it? It was, uh, magical. You haven't read it, have you? The report is due tomorrow. There's always time to start. I work best under pressure. Mona, have you been neglecting your homework? If you fail that report, there'll be no more comic books for the rest of the school year. But, Mom... Charlie, you shouldn't drink soda so early in the morning. I, I know, Mrs. Parker. <laughs> A dollar fifty. Good work, Charlie. It's closed. You're mine after school, Biff. Can we hurry? I really have to go to the bathroom. You should have gone before we left, Charlie. I did. Twice. children. Uh, I almost didn't make it. I don't want to even look at a soda for the rest of my life. Today I thought we could discuss Oliver Twist a little more. Mona, would you like to begin? Well, uh, it's still sinking in. As you can see, I'm almost done with my book report. I chose the illustrated medium because I think it lends itself best to the story. Is Oliver wearing a cape? And what's that on the schoolmaster? Tentacles. Green and slimy. Mona, since you obviously haven't read the book, you'll be staying after school to finish it. How does one capture the essence of Oliver Twist during lunchtime 
without having actually read it. Shh! The new librarian creeps me out. That's Miss Dewey. I heard she had a kid so scared that he tried to stifle his niece and his head blew up. And then she gave him detention. I heard it was a cough and that his eyeballs popped out. Mona, what? Your pen. Oh, rats. Just what I needed. Here, use a library pen. I have to get out of detention if I want to go to the comic book store. But I'll never finish my report by sticking to the classic. Thank goodness for the abridged version. Well, it's a report, all right. But there's an awful lot of white space. At least now I can return my book. This book is a week overdue. That'll be a dollar fifty. I'm saving my money for a comic book. Do you accept lucky marbles? A deadbeat, huh? You kids are all the same with your comic books. If it were up to me, you wouldn't be allowed anywhere near this place. I have to get back to class. Yeah! What did you just say? I have other ways of collecting debts. You'll see. Good job, Biff. I told you the sonic disruptor would work. This is the best issue of Biff Buffo yet. Can I turn the page? No, wait, I'm not done. Mona, shouldn't you be working on that book report first? It's all done, Mom, like I promised. See? This isn't very funny, Mona. But I wrote it during lunch today. I swear. I told you, if you didn't turn in your report on time, no more comic books for the rest of the school year. Uh -huh. A promise is a promise. What happened to your report? It's the ogre who stole the peace treaty. That's just a comic book character, Mona. I know, but life imitates fiction. Miss Dewey said that she'd find a way to collect the debt. She must have stolen the words right off the page as payment. What are you gonna do? If I don't get my report back, my mom's gonna declare full-scale war. Just our luck. She's working overtime. We can't get in as long as she's there. Hey, I can't see her anymore. She's gone. I can't see her either. Let's come back later. She could leave with my book report. I can't take that chance. Come on. Where do we even begin to look? This could take hours. If only we had a hint. Soup now. 
Comic books have turned you kids all soft and mushy! Comic books are what taught me exactly how to take care of ogres like you, lady. Ever heard of a sonic disruptor? Chips! You wouldn't dare! No! It's against the rules! We're putting an end to your rules. No eating! The noise! You'll ruin everything! Stop it right now! <sighs> well, I had to stay up all night, but it's done. I'll never wait until the last minute to do my homework again. At least this time it's done right. I've had my fill of ogres, both the comic book kind and the librarian kind. I don't think we'll see Miss Dewey ever again. They brought back the regular librarian. Good morning, class. I have good news and bad news. Oh, no. It's not good when she starts the day like that. A practical joker placed pens with disappearing ink in the library. Unfortunately, that's what I use to write my notes on Oliver Twist. So, the good news is you won't get your marks back right away. The bad news is that your reports are still due in today. So, hand them up to the front. Looks like Miss Gatto got tangled up with the ogre, too. Mona! Since you seem so eager to speak, why don't you share your views on the book with us? Certainly. But first, let me tell you about the valuable lesson that comic books can teach all of us.